Welcome to this channel. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Today I'm going to share with you the beginning steps of how to chop on a cello. Chopping is an extension of a rhythmic pattern in string instruments. It is believed that it was developed from American bluegrass music and widely applied in jazz string music. If we listen carefully to many basic rhythmic patterns, chops are mostly executed on the third beat of a fast 4-4 time signature, which resembles the snare stroke of a drumming pattern such as this. Or this. Chopping is not choking. Do not begin with an extreme amount of pressure by hitting the string with full force. Instead, try to develop from this gentle motion of 8th note repetition and gradually try to stop the first 8th note in the 3rd beat and continue the loop. Keep in mind that chop will be very effective to play from the frog area of the bow. As you slowly build up this loop, try to gradually speed up and lock the fastest yet stable tempo that you are able to do at the moment. Remember to always loosen your wrist, arm, elbow, and shoulder. In the end, chopping is fun, light, and exciting. Recall our beginning steps in learning to stroke the strings with our bow. Every string has a different angle of arm and elbow to adapt with. This goes the same with chopping. Build up the routine of practicing from less difficult to the most difficult, which is in my opinion, from G, D, C, and finally A string. Take the same pattern as in the previous chapter and apply it to each individual string. So previously we learned the um, combination of stroking and chopping in a basic rhythmic pattern. Now we are going to develop your chop only sound quality. Bear in mind that there are two different types of chop, which are the down chop, which creates the active sound, and the up chop, which is the after sound or the passive sound. We'll have to work on both, my friend. So, when we're down chopping, we are actually sticking our hair bow to the string without detaching it. The process of lifting your bow afterwards will create the up chop sound, which is weaker by the means of volume. Let's have a look at these examples. Here, we have third beat 
down chop and the fourth beat up chop. Another example is a fast escape, which we will have the third beat down chop and immediately up chop. Now comes our greatest teacher, monitor, guiding light, whatever you may want to call it, the scale. Yes, of course, you have to practice chopping with scales, because later you'd like to play some nice riffs, bass line, or even sick licks on your cello. So how do we practice chopping with scale? Remember the practice in the previous chapter? So we're going to use that to build up our scale practice. Let's start with G major in one octave, ascending and descending. Continue this practice with C major in one octave and then D major also in one octave. Once you are used to each of these sets, you may proceed to practice any skill you'd like in wider octaves. Those are the very beginning approaches on how to chop on a cello, in my opinion. There are endless ways of approaching it. Please take your time also to listen and study from many other channels or cellies out there about chopping. I'll leave the link to their channel in the description below. Feel free to download the PDF file of each practice transcription also in the description below. Thank you very much for watching. If you find this channel is bringing values for you, please consider subscribing. See you in the next video where I will share about how to improve your chop. Thanks guys, take care and have a wonderful cello day.